Well, hello. Uh, with uh, Cinco de Mayo around the corner, I thought it would be time to do some tequila taste testing. It's a sort of celebrity um, twist on it, because why not? Because I had gotten, I had bought some, uh, some tequila that had some celebrity endorsements, plus one I already had. Um, so give me an excuse, plus uh, a wild card that I just wanted to try that's had a, had a bold claim on it. So first we'll start with the uh, Terramana, the Reposado. Uh, so this is the Rocks tequila, um, but it's sort of the higher end one. Uh, so well, not the high, we just like the aged one a bit longer. So I want to say one thing about uh, the Reposado. It, it, Smells amazing. One of the best smelling ones I've smelled in a while. Out of the bottle, out of a cup, glass, sorry, uh, not as much of a nice aroma. It is, however, fairly smooth without more of an aged flavor to it. Yeah, no. A bit of burn. That's it's still pretty good for a yeah. I'm not sure I would sip that one too much, but yeah, not bad. So here's the Terramana. The uh, his uh, just his Blanco version. So give that a try. It doesn't smell. Uh, bad at all, um, but not much of a smell to it, which is good for a potential, I guess, mixing tequila. I have tried this before when I got it. Very smooth. Um, I'm actually, I do like it better than the Reposado, which is uh, odd for me usually. I'm not a huge fan of the Blanco stuff, but it's this is very smooth and no burn or anything. Of the two, I'll get that for sure. This sucker here, this Santo, um, is a mezquila. So it's tequila and mezcal mixed together. I bought this because of that, um, but it's actually a collaboration between Sammy Hagar and Kevin Le Levine random I found that out afterwards anyways that's why it's here um, they need to work on their lid making skills though anyways I have tried this one and it is it's bizarrely good yeah still good as good as I remember smooth and a hint of both little like a not not even that smoky as a mezcal but just like nice and smooth and yeah i still really like this one yeah it's like doesn't taste like anything else any other tequila because it's got that weird not weird but nice sort of mezcal smooth i like it finally i have the centenaro which i got on recommendation and it has a bold claim of being Mexico's number one tequila. So I don't know if that's true or not, but that's that's a bold claim to have. Um, price range, it was it was on sale, but it was sort of the same price as the Terramana stuff. Um, so curious, yeah. It's it's an Anejo, so it's definitely the oldest of the bunch. So it's definitely got the color. That is smooth though. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't sure what I was expecting with that. I mean, number one, but for an aged tequila, that is, I'd sip that. That is, okay, fair enough. That's probably number one somewhere. That I like that. Wow, oh, okay, well, those are all good. Um, definitely, I'd actually say the Reposado Terramana is the worst out of the three. Yeah, I'd, I'd sip all of them. Um, definitely, I could use that for some 
mixing and yeah anyways cheers to that i'm gonna you know have to finish the rest of these now they're you know, can't let them go to waste so enjoy your weekend cheers <laughs>